Okay, we've got this floor panel puzzle here. And the game feels the need to do that. Now what we want to do is have solo mode on. Oh, it's apparently already on. We want solo mode on. This panel here resets them. What you want to do is run around the edges, running over the edge panels. And then from here you want to run a step onto the middle one. Simple as that. Now we have this computer here, which, yes, will talk to us and it recognizes us as Revan. That's nice. The builders constructed him. Mm, the builders. That's what. They are the people that that droid on Dantooine mentioned. That one that talked a lot inside the temple. Significant changes in my constitution. Subtle yet substantive alterations in my thought patterns and information processing. Even though I'm dark side. Apparently. What are you? He's a database. So we can ask him about things. Tell us about the Star Forge. An enormous space station, we can tell that. But it's also a factory and a dreadnought. It can produce immense fleets with a minimum amount of time and resources. The Starforge also feeds off the Force, and its its ability to feed off and consume the Force that is the key to its power. So the Rakato actually built the Star Forge. They are the builders. Star Forge is a tool of the dark side. So the Rakato were corrupted by the Star Forge, and they turned on each other, and killed each other, and brought themselves to near extinction. Clever. We need to shut off the disruptor field. It can only be deactivated from the upper levels of the temple. So we need to go there. His systems control the doors, only allowing those who are worthy. Last time I was here, he unsealed the doors for me. And then he does that again for me. So he's opened the doors to the top level, and that's that massive door at the entrance. That'll, that'll do. So let's head back to the massive door. <laughs> massive door. It's just exactly the same size as the other doors. Because it is one of the other doors. Kill some more easy droids. Kill easy droids easily.
and we arrive to some pretty music on top of the temple. Empty. Some grenades. <laughs> and a cylinder that won't open. There we go. And there's a person there. And this track from the soundtrack is called Bastila. Revan, I knew you'd come for me. Malak thought you might be afraid to enter the temple again, but he doesn't know you like I do. Not anymore. Not since you've changed. Quickly, Bastila, come with us. We have to escape before Malak arrives. Escape? You don't understand. I have sworn allegiance to Lord Malak and the Sith. I am no longer a pawn of the Jedi Council. Excellent. Surely you know what I mean, Revan. Look at what the Council did to you. They turned you into their puppet. The same thing they do to all who are truly strong in the Force. They speak of the dark side as if it is... I've, I've told you all along that Dastala wanted a piece of the dark side. The and force. here she is. The fear of the dark side is a tool to maintain control. Why do you think the Jedi All that teasing paid off. The Mandalorian Wars? They knew you would realize your true potential and break free of their domination. Malak has shown me how the Jedi Council have been using me the same way they once tried to use you. They've been holding me back because they knew one day I would surpass them all. Hmm. I don't particularly want to pick that, but okay. I resisted it first. I endured the Sith torments with the passionless serenity of a true Jedi, emptying my mind. But after a week of endless tortures, I finally saw the truth. Malak forced me to acknowledge my anger and pain. He showed me the liberating power of these emotions. Then he made me see how the Jedi Council has denied me what is mine by right. The Jedi Council gladly used my battle meditation in their wars, but they still treated me like a child, like an inferior. They were jealous of my power, of what I could become. They wanted me to bow and call them master and follow their code and obey their every order. But all the while they were exploiting my battle meditation for their own use. Malik's a douchebag and he wears a very embarrassing outfit, but I've got to admit, he's done a good job. You used to be Revan, master of the Sith, but no longer. You were simply a pawn of the Jedi Council in the Republic they serve, like I was until Malak freed me from their shackles. A pity the power you once had is so diluted in you. You could have been as strong as I am now. Diluted, Stronger you say? But that will never happen now. With the power of the Starforge, Malak will destroy the Republic and conquer the galaxy. And I will be the apprentice at his side, after I prove my worth by killing you. Dark side points, like I need them. And then you have to fight Bastila. Which will probably be very easy, actually. I think you have to get to the half life. Oh, she used force powers. This could be tricky. Oh, if she keeps killing Jado Ali, that's fine. Yeah, force immunity at the ready. Oh, battle's over. You were stronger than I would have thought possible after what the Jedi Council did to you. <laughs> I hardly did anything. I used a couple of flurries. Yes, Revan. I was there when you almost died in the trap set by the Jedi Council. I used the Force to preserve your life. We are forever linked by my actions on that bridge. The Council Aww. tried to exploit our bond. They hoped your memories would lead me to the Star Forge. But in our shared visions of the star maps, I also tasted the power of the taint within you. You deserve to be the true master of the Sith, not Malak. I see this now. Together we can destroy your old apprentice. Join with me and reclaim your lost identity. Your mind was too badly damaged to ever fully restore your memories, Revan. But your power, your strength of will, the essence of who and what you are, these things still remain. Once, long ago, you defied the Jedi Council, freeing yourself from their control. You claimed your rightful title of Dark Lord of the Sith. Together we can defeat Malak and take back what is yours. Yes, we can. Listen to me. The dark side leads to death and destruction. 
I've seen the horrors the Sith have unleashed on the galaxy. Turn away from this path. Shut up, old man. Your time is over. The age of the Jedi and the Republic is no more. This is the age of Darth Revan and the Sith. Don't do this. Kid. I was just about to tell I him sh to shut up myself. I'll fight you if I have to, even if it costs me my life. Oh, bad decision, Jolie. And we were getting along so well. Yes, the sacrificial blood will consecrate this ancient temple in the name of the Sith. With the death of the Jedi, the rebirth of Darth Revan will be complete. Yeah, it will. And then we have to kill Juhani and Jolie. I guess we could use Stasis Field. And kill. And kill again. They're doing pretty well, aren't they? Okay, Juhani's gonna die now. <laughs> and Bastila killed him by herself. Well, you will have to ignoring the my Force Storm. There is a computer here on the Temple Summit that has access to the power generators. You can also use it to disable the disruptor field. But what's new? Me and Bastila Otherwise, are very strong. We already know this. Bastila's even stronger now. I'm here. Because she's dark side. That's a good point, actually. Has she leveled up to match me? Because she doesn't need to be leveled up, does she? So what level is she? She's level 18. Which is the same level as my party members were, I think. She's not that dark side. Shame. We'll have to work on that, Bastila. Malik only got you that far. Let's go all the way. And this is the ship that she came in. It's quite cool, really. I think there are things to pick up here. Yes. Oh, I can't. Here I can. There are things there. <laughs> and how, how you actually fit in here, I don't know. Because how does that work? Look, that's the cockpit, and look how big we are. Yes? That would be <laughs> very cramped in there. And if you're light side, you fight her, and she escapes on this. But we're going to use our own ship. Shut down those. So the temple shield is down now, and the disruptor field is down. So we can now go to the Star Forge, which is the end of the game. And these guys' remains, which is just everything that you gave them. It's just what they had equipped. We just lost two very good party members. But we did get Bastila back. So that kind of makes up for it. Dark side Bastila. I like it. In fact, what can I do? Let's play as some Bastila. Let's play as some Bastila. Yes, that was a good sentence. So, I believe that's all we need to do here. What what robes did you was does she have? Oh, she has dark Jedi master robes. I thought it was just going to be dark Jedi knight robes that she was wearing, but no, she has dark Jedi master robes. That's nice. Malak gave her some good robes as well. Um Reflex plus three. I suppose she can have a Verpine cardio regulator. Um, 
And she can have an Ashani Dueling Shield, I suppose. Sith Power Gauntlets. So yes, they're good, aren't they? Yes, yeah, Strength plus three. That's quite good though. Marco Ragnos' Gauntlets gives her Weapon Focus Lightsaber and Weapon Specialization last Lightsaber. Which does give her Power Bonus, I think. Strength Bonus or... Oh, Stabilizer Gauntlets. That gives her Blaster Bolt Deflection plus five. And a dexterity of three. And that actually raises her hit rate. Her strength goes down slightly. But her hit rate goes up. Okay, let's give her that. That gives her blaster bolt deflection. Yes. So unfortunately we are done now on this planet. I'm just gonna look down here. Oh, look! I'm here. It's guys. It's the team. Hello, Revan. Um Yeah, let's let's go see them, shall we? I'm I'm sure they're going to be impressed. HK is going to be impressed, quite clearly. I mean, we killed, we killed people. And we're evil. HK is going to dig that. Not so sure about Karth, though. He might be preachy. Vasily, you're alive. I was worried about you for a minute there. I, w I was sure that we'd never see you again once Malik got his. Wait, wait a minute. I, I just stroll up casually. Anything, Are they okay? What happened inside that temple? What? Wait, what are you talking about? What? The Jedi Council has failed, Karth. Darth Revan has been reborn. Together we will destroy Malik and seize control of his fleet, then use it to crush the Republic. Johan yeah, we will. Jolie would not swear loyalty to the new ruler of the Sith. They died for their foolishness. Look, Karth. It's Dark Side Bastila. Isn't she sexy? Face your own death. Wait, what? No. We serve the Republic. You are no better than Malak. We'll never swear allegiance to one who serves the Dark Side. Karth is pissed. Look at him waving his fists at me. He's still doing it. It's quite comical. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. The droids will continue to serve you, Revan. They are programmed to obey their master, and there may be others. Of course they will. I mean, us. come on, HK. Revan has returned. Who will now swear loyalty to the second coming of Kalt the Dark Lord? is not impressed. Lord? You're Revan, and I'll follow you anywhere. It doesn't matter who you're fighting against. I'll be at your side. Mandalorians don't have any great love for the Republic anyway. Oh, oh great, Dark we've got side. we've got it him. Make any difference to me, Riven. I'll stick by you no matter what comes. <laughs> I'm still not gonna be using him. I saw what the Sith did to Terrace. Anyone who serves the dark side is evil. Big Z and I are with Karth on this one. <laughs> oh mission. Revan Don't make Sith. bad choices. I like you, Mission. I like you. I don't want to kill you. Yes, listen to Zalbar. No, Zalbar. I don't care. No. I won't help the Sith against the Republic. Not for anything. Not even for you. You don't have to help the Sith mission. Not while I'm here. I see now it's a mistake to let you go into that temple. And I, of all people, should have seen this coming. First saw Karath. And now you. I mean, I should be an expert on betrayal by now. But nothing you and then Karth bitches about his own problems. I won't join you. 
and I won't just stand aside and let you become ruler of the Sith again, Revan. Oh no, is he gonna fight me with his fists? Because he's not holding any weapons. Hey, HK, you've got a weapon. Shoot Karth. Run for admission. Go, go! Ruffle. Let him go. We have more important things to worry about. We have to get to the Starforge and kill Malak. Then we can turn our attention to the Republic. <laughs> Karth ran away. No! This isn't happening! That was cool. Cool until the end, Karth. I'm impressed. Oh, mission. You just have to kill me, but I don't think you will. I don't believe you've gone over to the dark side. Not really? Totally. I don't think you'll kill me. Not if I don't attack you first. I was dark side even before I became a Jedi on this playthrough. I've been evil all of this playthrough. Since we met, mission. Will Zelbar kill her? <laughs> Oh, he will not turn on his best friend. Looks like you'll have to do your own dirty work, Revan, if you've got the guts. I've got the guts. I just don't particularly want to. Force persuade Zelbar. Now the other options are killing them both, because you can say kill them both, or you can kill Mission yourself. But then Zelbar will turn on you for killing Mission. And Zelbar's a difficult fight. He's very strong, actually. But does the Force Persuade work? Oh, wow. Oh, this is evil. What are you saying? Revan can't force you to do anything you don't want to. It's me, Big Z. Mission. Oh, wow. Is he gonna do it? Don't do this! Please! No! No mission. Huh. He did do it as well. Well done, Lord Revan. You were as <laughs> ruthless as Malik ever was. Bastard is impressed. Now, we have to get to the Star Forge and destroy the Usurper. Yes, we do. Bastard is impressed with me, and she's being honest about it now. And I'm spinning around. What? Okay, thank you. Oh, mission's gone. But we actually have Zalbar. I <laughs> didn't know you could do that. Just let me go out for a second. It's it's mission's corpse. But I can't get her remains. Strange. She has good armor on. You might automatically get it back then. I'm not going to bother looking. So, this is our party. I'm obviously going to be having Bastila on the Starforge. T3 is not an option. <laughs> Kandorus, I'm not using Kandorus. He might he might be good, I'm not sure, but... Uh, I'm going to be taking HK. Um... Let's see. Oh, you can't actually... change stuff up. I see. I want to know what I'm doing before I go to the Starforge. And he needs to be leveled up as well. He's got the droid heavy plating. We're not going to be getting any better than that. Sith Assassin Pistol. <laughs> Karth's blaster. He left his blaster behind. The Sith Assassin Pistol is very good.
Oh, that looks better. Yep. Okay. He's the droid with the golden gun. Let's level him up. Um, it, it doesn't really matter. Feats matter, though. Weapon focus blaster pistol. One attack bonus with blaster pistols. That would be nice. Oh, he doesn't have two weapon fighting or dueling. Let's give him dueling then. I really should have given him that earlier. Well, he might level up again on the Starforge. With each passing moment, your old apprentice becomes stronger, Master. We must act quickly to exact your vengeance. Malak will pay for stealing the mantle of the Dark Lord from you. And on that note, let's head to the end game next time. You have been